Get ready to be amazed by the graduation ceremony of not 10, not 50, but 107 candidates from the prestigious Catholic School of Health Sciences, Shisom. Yes, you heard that right. Three key events are set to make this Saturday, the 18th of January 2025, unforgettable. A Thanksgiving Mass the award of certificates to the laureates, and the swearing into the Cameroon Association of Nurses, Midwives, and Health Technicians by a few of the laureates. Today is a great day, and a great day is today. So today is one of the days we have been waiting and waiting and hoping that it will come to pass. It is a day that our students who succeeded in their exams, that is, there's nursing assistants, they do one year, we have the nursing assistant midwives who do also one year. We have the state registered nurses who do three years. We have nurses, uh, medical laboratory technicians who do three years. And another group of nurses, we call them higher national diploma. They are trained, affiliated to Katu. They also do three years. And so all these students succeeded in their final exams. Cherished viewers, we are at the Sacred Heart Parish, Shisong. And Reverend Father Dr. Andrew Solinga is presiding at this mass in place of the Bishop of Kumbu, who unfortunately couldn't make it. It is going to be an amazing service full of blessings and joy. These laureates will certainly never forget the preacher's reminder that by virtue of their formation and graduation from a Catholic institution of the standing, they are by default pro-life, called to preserve life from conception to natural death. As a Catholic institution from which you are graduating, the one holy Catholic and apostolic church stands for, propounds, promotes and teaches the inalienable right to human life of every human being in line with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and it defends this from natural conception to natural death. So the Catholic Church is pro-life and by that very fact, belonging to a Catholic institution and graduating from that, you are somehow obliged to remember that you are pro-life. He also stylistically exhorts them to be nurses who are patient with their patients. For an impatient nurse to encounter an impatient caregiver with an impatient patient will be a catastrophic encounter. Patience is part and parcel of cooperating with Christ. Oh, what a happy day. What a day, what a beautiful day.
Sister Oliver Maringa is the able director of the Noble Catholic School of Health Sciences, dancing for joy with her team. With them, these students score 100% in every national exam that some schools wouldn't score at 20%. No exaggerations. According to her, irrespective of all they have gone through, while in formation, the all important thing is that they are here today to graduate. In this to the Tertian Sisters of St. Francis, who founded this noble institution in 1954 with a pioneer principal, being Sister Kamina Gare, followed by Sister Efri Dejina, then Sister Felix Meissner, then Sister Marina P, from whom Sister Karim, the first African, took over, then we have Mr. Nuna Kare, the first The laureates are welcomed into the hall with standing ovation. And here, they are awarded their certificates. Reverend Brother Dr. Francis Dorr, in the capacity of a guest speaker, gives an academic discourse on the ongoing revolution which, of which nurses must intervene to bring human beings or the earth at the center of the universe. I agree that the earth and not the sun is at the center of our universe. I have a dream that the era of cleaner devils is passing and the age of humanity has begun. I have a dream that every nurse shall be an angel of life beside every patient. I have a dream that each one of us here present will leave a trail by simply making your, your center of the universe that spot where you will be practicing with compassion. The testimony of the representative of the Lurians. <laughs> Due to the continuous follow-up 
by all the staff to make sure we maintain the brand name of this institution as it has always been known all over the nation and the world at large. Some laureates receive their certificates and some of them are sworn into the Cameroon Association of Nurses, Midwives and Health Technicians in the presence of the local representative of the association, Mr. Edwin Fomonyoy. Thank you for following us, dear viewers, and please subscribe to our channel if you are new to it. You are allowed to like this video and to share it. God bless you. ...of the Cameroon Association of Nurses, Midwives, and Health Technicians. Right. Thank you very much. I am uh, Shea Paul Shemka. I am uh, a staff of the District Health Service, Kumbu East, uh, data manager and district focal person for the fight against illicit drugs. I'm also the focal point for universal health coverage. It's a pleasure for me to represent the DMO at the graduation ceremony of health personnel from the Catholic School of Health Sciences today, an occasion which has not taken place uh, for quite some time. And so we are happy to see the laureates in their numbers from all the departments, midwifery, nursing assistants, nursing, and uh, medical laboratory technology. Our take-home message is that all of them should leave the vows which they have taken, the ethical principle, principles which they have been taught, they should put them to practice as they have sung in their school anthem. I am the eyes of the blind, I am the legs of the lame. They should practice the profession and raise the standards. Thank you very much. My name is Neba Lester Su. I'm a senior medical laboratory technician, batch of 2024. Today we are celebrating success by way of graduation. And what I feel today is more of gratitude, most especially towards my family and any stakeholder who played an important role to see that I'm here today. I want to, in a special way, acknowledge the efforts of the administration of the Catholic School of Health Sciences Shusong, having supported us for the past years and at the KM organized the graduation of this month. I equally want to use this opportunity to congratulate once more my fellow mates, uh, for we all made it, and though it was not easy, but the grace of God was sufficient for us. What we pray and hope for is that the same grace will continue guiding us as we go out there to deliver the various healthcare practices which have been trained here for the past years. I want to challenge and encourage the current students to work hard and keep the banner of the institution high. My name is Aspia Azumo Glory Lane, a rotary student and an ex student of the School of Health Sciences Fusion. Today, I'm an ex student and I'm very delighted and glad. And, like, telling you the truth, being in this school has been hell, but trying to be a better person in the future, no, it is not a bit of us, but all I have to say is that I'm really grateful for seeing, for being, for going through this training, and I'm very glad. I'm just overwhelmed about it. Okay, and what can you say about the department from which you are graduating? The department is mainly, is mainly for nurses, that they do a bit of all. You go through all the departments, you go through the lab, you go through the maternity, and equally, you go through the theater. This is for you to have a little bit of knowledge in whatsoever you practice and how to, to take care of patients who come in. I'm called Madame Bernadette Bayelen Faisal. Today is my graduation ceremony. And the military department is a place to be. I wish that everyone to be a midwife. Because being a midwife, in fact, seeing a, a cry of a newborn child is something very, very important, which always makes me to be happy. So I wish that everybody should try and come to Shishon Hospital to deliver all these Akila Sekunda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today is my graduation ceremony. The way I feel, I feel good, I feel happy. In short, the joy in me is too much. Because it's been two, a, a year that we graduated about yesterday. 
that we did our graduation work today. So today I feel happy seeing my other friends after a long time and the job satisfaction I'm always having since I went back. In short, to be a midwife is a great job. So I wish everybody, all, all, all the midwives, a happy, nice day and a happy celebration. I am very happy, extremely happy. And to say, it has not been an easy journey with the students. You could hear from their speech. <laughs> Sometimes you need to handle them really hard and push them on what they don't even believe in. But at the end of the day, they are all looking back and say, wow, it was worth the journey. But it was quite difficult for them to get the, you know, the present technology. They can spend a lot of time WhatsApping, doing things out those of. And with that, it takes them away from their studies. Excellent. It was excellent that we got the main celebrant, the person we had previewed that could be able to give a message to the students. And he came and actually gave the message. We are happy about that. On the side of the staff, right from the planning, from the steering committee to the planning to the subsequent committees, each committee worked really hard. The committee to get the hall ready, committee to get the liturgy ready, committee to get the food ready, everyone did their best. Nowhere is peace,